Oh, he's eating peepers. Hey, 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 I need them too. Let's go grab a peeper. Oh man, he's a problem. And hey, give me the metal. No, I want that. How much? Hello, survivors. Welcome back to Indie Game Test Drive. Today is December 18th, 2014. And we are about to take Subnautica. Early, 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 early access out for a short spin. And we shall kick the proverbial, well, not tires. I guess we'll, we'll kick the proverbial air bladders, as it were, and see what she's got under the hood. And uh, hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a decent grasp of where the game is headed, because again, it's very early access, super early access, you could say. And it's not nearly complete. Now, before we jump into the gameplay, let's just get the, uh, the nitty gritty out of the way. So, again, it's Subnautica. You can get it at subnauticagame.com and also on Steam. I'll put those links down below in the description, of course. It is currently available for Windows only. It is $19.99 on Steam. Currently on sale, in fact, at the time of this recording, for, I think, $17.99. That doesn't mean I recommend you rush out and buy it, okay? We'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, it's also made by Unknown Worlds Entertainment, the people that made uh, Natural Selection 2, which is a fine game indeed. And that's also on Steam. Very positive review. So they do have a track record. All right, let's go. Ready? We're going to do a new game here. And I'll show you the options. Th that's it, guys. Just change your language. You can do fish language. Oh, you can't even change your language to fish language. I'm sorry. We'll just stick with English. Uh, here we go. Enter the world of Subnautica. We're going to do a new game. The game doesn't even have a save feature right now, guys. That's how raw this thing is. But um, I thought it was worthy to share it with you. Let's go ahead into normal mode, which is survival mode. And we're going to load up. In the late 22nd century, humanity is beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. Wait, uh, who? Wait, could you repeat that, please? Did you say me? As in me? Oh, boy. Mommy, I want to go home. <laughs> anyway, yes, welcome aboard, everybody. This is indeed the escape pod, and you just heard the lovely robot voice give us a synopsis. Uh, that is the backdrop. That's the background. Uh, it is sometime in the future. We were flying through space aboard that spacecraft right there, in fact. Heading to some sort of terraforming mission when somebody um, didn't put their cigarette out. And then bad things happened and now we're down here in our ocean-based, open-world, sandbox, survival, crafting, building, adventure game. And that's how we got here. So that's kind of the excuse to put us sometime in the future with some really super high-tech gear, which we'll show you in a moment, as well as on an alien world with some really strange creatures that we are not familiar with. And there's something out there growling. It looks, seems like it's gone now. Okay, good. Let's get into the escape pod. We are in the survival mode, and we need to start thinking about our food. We have down on the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the carrot. Um, do they, are we going to eat carrots in the future? I suppose so. So we're going to have, uh, we need to get some food. I'm not too concerned about the water right now. And you can see the, uh, the depth meter there and the O2, the oxygen bar. Caution. Blood what? nutrient levels decreasing. Calorie intake recommended. I see that. Thank you very much for that, kind lady. Yes, our carrot is beginning to die and we must think about some food here. Now, before we get started on food or anything else, let us discuss that this is indeed a very early, super early access, ridiculously early access game, and that is not complete. Um, I'm guessing there's maybe an hour of content in this game right now, guys. Uh, there's probably going to be some bugs. You may encounter things like you may see some weird things happening here in the video. Just keep in mind that it is super early access. So, having said that, let us get started. We're going to open up our fabricator here, and this is the super high-tech gear that I was mentioning moments ago, and this kind of gives us an excuse for, uh, this is kind of our high-tech crafting bench, if you will, and we can make things in, with this uh, fabricator very simply, as long as we have the ingredients. So we've got the four tabs here, resources, food, equipment, and tools, and all we have to do is click on an item to make it, again, if we have the proper ingredients. So, one of our first goals here the first task is to get out into the ocean that's what it's all about after all and go collect some things now we have two ways out of here we can go down 
Okay, we can go down through the pod, escape pod here, or we can climb out the way we climbed out earlier. Let's go through the pod here. Now keep in mind, there's very little I can do with uh, with settings, so I can't change the FOV. The field of view is pretty tight right now. My guess is maybe 60 or something like that. I usually play around 90. Um, unfortunately, I can't change it, so we just have to deal with that. We can change mouse sensitivity and invert only at this point. We can't even change volume. I had to do that through Windows. Now look at this, how beautiful. Isn't it lovely? So this is some sort of alien beastie, and I'm gonna see if I can grab him to eat him. Actually, you know what? He's kind of big. He might bite. So let's let's go collect Oxygen. something. 50%. Yeah, we don't have much air, guys. We start out with a very small tank, and I should swim to the surface. Good idea. Good idea. It's good good having this woman around. <laughs> My robot. There. Okay. Now we collect some more air. Go back down. Now, uh, the idea here is to first take care of food, and eventually we are, and also grab some sand, because sand's good. And check that out, we just dug a hole. Isn't that nice? We can, um, we can upgrade our tank, we can upgrade, oh, there's metal. We can upgrade, we can put some flippers in, open PDA, yeah. All right, here's our PDA, this shows us our inventory. Again, very, very rudimentary right now, guys, but this will be expanded. Um, you can see the items that we have in our inventory is kind of shimmering right now because I'm right on the surface of the water. Um, so each one of those items I picked up takes up a full slot in our inventory. This is all of it. We can't get the submarine because there's nothing there yet. It's not implemented. It will be soon enough, I hope. Um, so there's our inventory. And again, we're just going to go and grab some stuff and pick up this metal that, that fish was looking at. Now this weird fish over here. He, he bites. We can't we get too close to him. And he collects metal for some reason. <laughs> he likes shiny objects. And he will fight you for him. There he is. You get it? I need that. Go away, fish. It's like a gar. Some kind of, some kind of future gar. All right, I'll grab some quartz. Of course, we can't eat the quartz, but we're going to grab it anyway. And look, see, here we go. A little bit of a bug there. Whoa, dude. Oh, he's eating peepers. Hey, 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 I need them too. Let's go grab a peeper. Oh, man. He's a problem. And give me the metal. No, I want that. How much? I need a knife. Whoa! Oh, he took a bite. He, 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 he took a, he tried to take a bite, but he missed. Oh, gosh. All right. Fine, you can have the metal. I'll get my own. Dang, fool. All right, let's leave him be. So let's go catch a fish because our carrot's getting... is starting to die. And we can catch these guys because they're really slow, fortunately. We can upgrade our, um, our flippers. We can make new flippers so we can skate faster. Skate faster so we can swim faster? <laughs> and we can upgrade our tank so we can breathe longer underwater. Got one! Peeper! Okay, they're nice and slow, which is perfect. I love the slow fishy in this world. Ooh! Ooh, this one's got turbo mode. Let's get a different guy. I'm gonna grab a little more metal here. So yeah, this uh, destructible terrain. You can pick up the sand, you can dig holes. My guess is we're gonna be able to build bases down here. But look at that fish. It's pretty. I don't even want to eat it. But we are, because I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to open up my uh, my fabricator, and I think I have some salt. We do. So how much salt did I snag anyway? I don't know. But we can now we can put our peeper in here, and our salt, and we can make salted peeper. You can eat the raw fish too, pretty sure. But I'm not sure I want to. Oh, I only I only have enough salt for one one meal. That's too bad. But it's going to give us 32 extra food and a little bit of H2O as well. Let's go ahead and nom nom that fella. Nice. A hoop fish. I have not caught a hoop fish before. That's pretty interesting. The sand. Well, let's turn the sand into something else. We can do that. We can turn it into uh, silicone, and we can upgrade our our flippers. I think we need yeah rubbery things. Make rubbery things with sand and silicone. So, oh, we can make the tank now too, which requires metal. So we're gonna make the tank. This is really easy, guys. I don't know how this is going to work in the future. But right now, at this stage of the game, it's pretty simple to get these upgraded things. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure how to... Oh, he's back again. He's coming for my metal. Oh! What's he doing? Dang, fool. Beastie! He's pushing on my, my pod. The pod can float away. I'm going to have to get... We need to make a knife to go stab that idiot. Now, where's my knife? Tank. It's under tools. So here you can see some things that haven't been implemented yet, guys. Don't have the ingredients, but it doesn't work either because it says not yet implemented. But we can make a knife. We just need some emery. Let's go get some emery. And I can stab that fool gar right in the in the snout. Uh, what what was I going to make now? Oh, yeah. I got the... F oh, here he comes. Leave me a bee. What have I ever done to you? I'm going to put this in a slot. 
and I'm going to put this in the slot. Now this, I have noticed, kind of works weirdly. I'm going, to, I'm going to climb up the ladder. Oh, it's nighttime. Cool. Nighttime is absolutely beautiful. You'll see here in a moment. So you have to, you've got to put these things in your hands to get the benefit of it. So this is going to give us a little extra oxygen, but sadly, you got to hold it. Hi. Oh, he's down there. He wants to eat my pod or bring it down to his nest or whatever the heck he's doing. So I'm going to go this way and go find some emery and some salt so he can make some more salted fish. Um, I can grab that limestone. Ow! Hey, dude! What did I... Come on! No, it's all right. I'm going to eat raw fish, I guess. Not liking that guy. I hear some salt. We can go back up and cook some fish. All right, so what happened to my tank? See, now this is where the... Uh, oh, I dropped it? Oh, dear. I dropped it when I... I don't know. Maybe when he bit me, I freaked out and dropped it. Anyway. Where was that? Get out of here! I'm coming back with a knife! Listen, we can all get along here. I just want to see the glowing things. That fish is a problem. Here's another one over here. We probably shouldn't be out at night. I have a feeling it gets worse at night. Here's a pretty fish. Got him. Uh, you can make upgrades not only to your gear, but you can make some sort of uh, a glider, a sea glider. And it's going to be some kind of powered s underwater sled or something. It's a boomerang. Let me grab a boomerang. Oh, mushrooms. Can I cook a mushroom? I'm going to try. Better get up. All right, we're gonna get back into the pod here, and let's go make some fish. Cook up some fish. I did get a little salt, didn't I? There we go. We cooked the boomerang. Um, cooked boomerang. Oh, that's not. That one doesn't give as much food as the uh, the peeper. The peeper was delicious. Okay, the sun's coming up. So I think, guys, we'll just play this for another 10, 10 minutes or so. I want to show you maybe twenty minutes total. Oh my gosh, I lost everything. Where did my flippies go? Hey, hey, hey. All right, see, there's some bugs. Again, I just want to share this with you guys and bring it to your attention. I'm not uh, not giving it a, a stellar recommendation. I don't want you to rush right out and grab it. I think it looks pretty. I think it's, um, I think it's going to be something special eventually. And I've always wanted to play an underwater adventure game. And as I said earlier, I have tried uh, Far Sky, and that was quite good. I haven't seen it in a while, so I'm not really sure how good it is uh, lately. But, oh gosh, uh, let's go grab that metal. But if it's something that, uh, this game anyway, if it's something that you want to keep an eye on, then just mark it in Steam and put it on your watch list or something and keep an eye on it. If you feel like you want to help the developers uh, help fund it and help the developers, um, well, develop it over there to the next, uh, yeah, until it's complete, then, then, then give them some money, you know, make, uh, buy the game and watch it grow, and I'm getting chased through this little tunnel here, which is kind of cool in a way, oh, look at this guy, maybe that fish will leave me alone and eat somebody else. So I just don't want you to expect uh, a complete game if you go and buy it now and then uh, you know, decide to yell at me about it. So you just have to do some of your own due diligence, I suppose. Uh, because I'm just the messenger. I've never run into this many of these aggressive guys. Look at that shadow. I can see him He's right on me. Oof, yeah. What is oh, there's my flippers. They just fell off. What the heck? <laughs> okay. I guess when I right clicked... Oh, I dropped them again. Did you just take my flippers? No. All right. No, he's going after the peeper fish. He's such a thief. Look at him go. Does like shiny things. <laughs> All right, fine. I have my flippers back, and I can just put this... In my two, so it looks like I didn't lose them. So it's not bugged. I just dropped it when I used my hands to climb into my escape pod. So that's my bad. Let's make up another tank, and I think I want to find this emery, guys. 
So as far as where this game is headed, I don't really know. Again, it's gonna be it's gonna come down to your due diligence. If it is something you're interested in, take a look at the website, go to the forums, and catch up on the developers' blogs, and uh, and maybe there's I know there's a wiki, maybe there's a uh, a blueprint um, of some sort that that tells us what they're going to do eventually, what their plans are down the road. I don't know. All right, let's get back up. A road map is the word I was looking for, not a blueprint. So, I know some of these developers like to keep a road map. Maybe I can make the emery. I bet I can fabricate the emery. Maybe I'm screwing up and it's just not something you're going to find in the bottom of the ocean. You can play this in a free form mode so you don't have to worry about the survival stuff. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think it's called freedom mode. So you don't have to go through with that if you don't want to. You just want to explore the ocean. And you can. Now, carbon. What am I looking for here? Carbon purple mushrooms. Hmm. I need emery. I've got four metal. I need emery. And I don't know how to make it. Okay, guys. We're going a little deeper now. I might die in this trip. But I wanted to show you these fellas. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Somebody ate the tacos last night. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it burns. Okay. I thought because they weren't biting me, everything was good. But no, they have some kind of secretion that hurts. It's like acid. I just wanted to get close. They're kind of cute. Some stuff down here. What is that? Just salt? So I don't know how much stuff there is in the game to actually collect right now, but... I'm just grabbing anything I can find. Oh, copper! Copper in this little cave. That's cool. Well, guys, I'm still on the lookout for... Oh, cool! For uh, the emery. I don't know what it is, to be perfectly honest. So I figure, let's just take a look around. Because some of these cool-looking dudes. Hoverfish. Kind of like a toady thing. I'll take them. I think my tank is working now, and I don't have it in my hands. I see things, yeah, see them down there? They're like, they're moving in my hotbar. Maybe that means they're active. Because I'm oh, definitely underwater longer than usual. All right, let's try this flare, ready? How do I use it? Just toss it, go. It's in my hands. Boom! Oh, it works, nice. Oh, it just stays right there. Can I pick it back up again? Lost it. Oh, there's the uh, the little poopers. There's my flare. I got it. Still in my hands. Nice. Oxygen. Now, is that the same guy that? Who's this guy? I see a big shadow, but Oxygen. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah, that's a big guy. Okay, I better get out of here. What was that all about? Oh my gosh! It's an explodey fish. Did you see that? That was pretty wild. Who did that? An allergy? Sand. I better get out of here. Oh well, I guess I'm not gonna get my knife. Sorry. I'm heading back to the surface. All right, guys, I literally just Googled emery, and it turns out it is corundum and magnetite, two substances mixed together to make some kind of polish, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure why a fish living in this ocean would have polish, but who knows? Maybe I have to find the, I have to find the corundum and the magnetite, and I don't know where to look. All I find is sand. Can't cut that without the knife. Dagnabbit, I've had a knife before, guys. I'm not sure where I found the emery, but I think we're just going to have to call it. So, let's just have a quick look around. Ow! 
such a bully. I'm gonna get back to my pod. One quick look around here, guys. And then we'll say goodbye. So once again, this is Subnautica. It is very early access. All the links will be down below if you're interested in finding out more about it. Or if you want to purchase it and support the developers, or maybe you just want to sit back and watch it develop over time, because it is, again, probably a good year off Oxygen. complete uh, full release. But I leave it up to you. Again, I'm just a messenger. I want to show you guys the game, bring it to your attention. And then, uh, obviously, ultimately, the decision is yours. I better get to the surface. I'm not doing too well here. I'm going, I'm going, heading back to my pod. And, oh boy, lights fade to black. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.